Welcome to the Danielle Delgado Show. Hi guys, I'm Danielle Delgado. I'm Prince Lorenzo de Medici. I'm Brigitte Cruz of GWS Auctions. And you guys are watching Life, Love and Pop Culture. So Brigitte, I, I know this is a while ago, but I just have to say how amazing it is that you were recognized as one of the first women oh my God. <laughs> for the Guinness, <laughs> Guinness World Records. Like how crazy is that? It was very special because to be the first woman in there shows that women can do it. So it was a special day, very, very special day. And I think that's what got me the wonderful place to work for this royalty over here, which is fabulous. So it, it's been Before exciting. Before we get into the auction itself, can you just give me a little bit of history of your family? Yes, I'm from the De Medici family and the De Medici family was the most important influential family from the Renaissance time in Italy and in the whole Europe. And uh, we come from Italy. and. Uh, we're happy to be here with the world record uh, auctioneer woman in the world as my family was the creator of the first and biggest bank in the world and the Czech and so was a winner uh, kind of uh, a winning record f family at that time too and so we're here to auction some incredible uh, pop culture items all right so tell me a little bit about the auction in which you guys are auctioning off Wow, so there is such an array of items. There was a, a batch of beautiful investment quality Italian real estate, and then there was also, there's some diamonds, very, very large ones coming up later. There's some of his fabulous artwork because Lorenzo is the godfather of Renaissance pop art. So we're really excited to just have an eclectic supply of items, and we did that to kind of provide something for everybody, you know, because not everybody is interested in real estate, not everybody is interested in jewelry, so we, we tried to really put something in there for everyone. And then, of course, there's the king of pop, which is Michael Jackson. We have uh, some of his rehearsal shoes uh, from Motown 25. We also have one of his crystal helmets, some Jackson 5 costumes. So some really cool stuff in today's auction. Prince, I think I read Chef. You've been a, a reality TV star. What's next? Good question. What's next? <laughs> uh, I'm still looking to discover what's next. But for sure, food and art is my two passion. Uh, and as an Italian, uh, Food culture, so uh, I may f future have a TV show for cooking. That's something that would be very interesting. So I'm working on this, and uh, continues with my art and doing something. I'll be in uh, in November having an exhibition uh, at, uh, in Beverly Hills for a film festival called Infinity Film Festival. So that would be my next step here in California. But for the rest, I'm traveling all over the world. The thing I love about Lorenzo too, and he left this out. We're both really big into charity work. He's really loving and caring when it comes to a lot of these different charitable contributions that he makes and we're kind of the same way as a matter of fact what we're doing today is we're going to be donating a portion of our proceeds to the Duke University Autism Research. Uh, it is such a wonderful thing that they're doing with these kids and you know with stem cell research being so new we really wanted to contribute a portion of today's sales to that so you know we're doing a lot of good today we're we're trying to set new world records that's kind of one of my secrets but I'm trying to set another world record today and we're also helping one of the greatest families in the world so it's a cool day the, the philanthropy and the venture goes together and so somehow it's beautiful that uh, uh, Birgit with the GWS is giving part of the philanthropy and so that's very important, it's part of why we work together as a Medici family, it's matched very well. That's so amazing, I love that you guys are giving back after this. Well you have to give back to receive, you know, it's balance in life so that's very important to us. That's interesting, in a lot of my art that you will see during the auction, uh, you will notice three different rings on the top of my paintings and it means love, hope and charity because we need love, we need hope because if not for the tomorrow and we need charity to give back and that's my signature in my art. We love love here. <laughs> I know, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> no, don't cry. I have to ask you, were you at the, were you at the wedding? I was not at the wedding because uh, I was here, but I know uh, uh, Prince Harry uh, before he uh, met uh, the uh, Megan. Megan, and uh, uh, I think for, since the first time I met him, he was such a nice guy. Everybody didn't know it, but uh, I always felt very positive about him, and uh, we were in the same private club together, and uh, uh, and. Uh, I really felt very happy when he got married because personally, and I'm talking about maybe five or ten years ago, uh, he was already a nice guy from the first moment I saw him. So it was my favorite from that family. So I'm very 
happy for him. But I was here in, in USA, so I couldn't go. Well, any advice for Megan now that she's stepping into the royal family? That's that's a tough family. The <laughs> British is a tough family, but uh, I think I think I think I think she's strong enough, like all the American women, and she will make a lot of change. She already started, and she was very brave when I saw her entering by herself. Uh, it was already something that was, nobody have ever thought in uh, previous uh, marriage, and uh, and I think she just put her position and said, uh, "I'm the lon lonely star of USA there in England." I think that story though you know her mother is right here in Crenshaw so I mean the connection between the Royals and now Los Angeles and especially a, a girl with her mom living in Crenshaw I mean it doesn't get more beautiful than that now a royal I, I, it's amazing it's crazy it's like every girl's dream I'm like to be a prince <laughs> right and I mean we loved the story of his brother you know but this is just taking it to a whole new level yeah this is great I love it I'm still looking for my prince so if you know what single prince <laughs> talk to everyone so <laughs> <laughs> he I knows mean, a lot of people. <laughs> that, that, like all the human beings, uh, even Prince, uh, has their weakness. Probably off camera, I may tell you which one are the weakness of the Prince, but we are human being too. So, so sometimes a normal, common, uh, uh, nice guy may be better than uh, a Prince. And uh, I, I can tell you, I, I'm married uh, and my wife is the most nice woman because she, she she's super beautiful, but she can hold uh, my thousand and thousand of years of uh, a DNA of royal life. So as, as a royal, you get used to have a lot of people working for you and uh, having it. And so uh, it's very tough for a woman to be close to a member of a royal family, not only for the heritage and the importance of the name, and it's just because uh, we were blessed and we were lucky to have a very, very easy life, let's put it in this way. And so sometimes uh, as a prince, uh, I wish I was growing up maybe in a different way, just with better husband, uh, but I thank her for what she's doing. You've done so much in your life already, and I look forward to seeing, you know, the stuff that you have planned. But what do you want people to remember you for the most? Uh, I think that uh, uh, the new millennial people are learning about my family, the Medici family, through the TV, like there is a series Netflix called uh, 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 Medici Master of Florence, but as my art is a pop renaissance art, they can learn my family through my art. So somehow I'm giving back to my ancestor through the modern art. So I'm a contemporary artist, I'm in a lot of collection of contemporary art, so people come to my exhibition, so the new generation have the possibilities to meet through my art my family. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to tune in next time guys as we discuss more life, love and pop culture. culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.